Hi, uh, today I'm here to talk about uh, three cameras that I bought, not recently, uh, one of them I bought recently but I sort of collected them over the past year and that is the Olympus point and shoot uh, some of the Olympus point and shoot clamshell opening cameras uh, the Olympus AF10 Super the Olympus XA2 and the Olympus Mu Zoom uh, three cameras from distinct eras of film photography and I just thought I'd go through them so to begin with we've got we'll start chronological order we'll start with the Olympus XA2 really nice little camera not technically a point and shoot because um, it's got three manual focus zones however in anywhere if you if at 800 ISO in anywhere from slightly cloudy to bright sunlight it's a point and shoot. If you have it in the middle, it will shoot from 1.2 meters to infinity um, in sunlight or clouds with 800 ISO film or pushing 400 to 800 as I usually do with HP5. This is a brilliant little camera. It's got a 3.5 uh, f3.5 lens, 35 millimeter f3.5 lens, a uh, hair trigger on it. So if I wind it on, you can see or hear that I'm just going to barely press down on here and it's you can't you barely press down and it's like it's uh, like a little I'm pressing down you can't my the, my finger movement is imperceptible um, absolutely a hair trigger so it's perfect for street photography because you can just quickly uh, do that and keep it on 1.2 to infinity meters and it'll just shoot and shoot and shoot. What I really like about this camera is the detachable flash. You see there, the uh, the flash screws into the side, so you can let me just unscrew that. So that's the A11 flash. Comes hopefully will come with your camera when you buy it. I mean, most of the time these these flashes are broken now, and they've been thrown away or they just not they just don't come with a camera if you buy on eBay. Flash is activated by pushing this lever here, this lever here to the side, which is where the rangefinder would be on the XA. Wait for it to charge up. Cock the camera. Wait for this to go orange. This one takes a bit of time because it's uh, old, but there you go. Epilepsy warning right now. I'm going to point it away, but here's here's the flash. Ooh. It's quite powerful. Uh, it has 100 option. If I can adjust it. It has a 100 option. I don't know if you can see that. And a 400 option and a full option. Full is uh, for use with the XA only when you're using uh, F22. Otherwise, set it to 100 or 400, depending on your film. Uh, I really like this camera. It's got a self timer here, which also acts as a kickstand. So you can put this down on a flat surface, and if there's any wind, it won't like jostle the camera. Battery check. So you see that little red light there, that'll tell you when the battery's working. It takes two LR44s, really small, because it's manual wind, so it doesn't require like a, like a, a motor. Ma uh, manual rewind as well. Um, I mean the size of this thing. If you take the let's take the flash off, it's the smallest of maybe maybe like any 35 mm camera, the Minox and the Contax T. I think um, I I wear a size large glove, and it fits right in the palm of my hand from from palm to fingertip. There it goes. So you can I can I can sort of half palm this. Um, so it, it fits fits in two hands there. Uh, it's fantastic for street photography, really good for street photography because you can literally just put it away. It doesn't like go after you take the picture. So there's no you do the manual winding yourself. So there's no like and it's like everyone's like fucks that noise and you're like, yeah. Uh, the next what came after this would be the AF1. I don't have an AF1. Really want an AF1. I however, do have. An AF10 Super, which needs a battery in it. Um, 
this is the AF10 Super clamshell opening again, 3.5 lens, uh, three different flash modes, auto, off, and fill in. Fill in's for when you're in the day, backlit. Uh, off is when you don't want any flash, and auto will just turn the flash on. Um, I, I like this camera as well. This is a great camera. It's it's about the size of the the Muzoom, um, almost exactly the same size, same thickness. But the lens is is a bit quicker than the Muzoom. The viewfinder is a bit bigger than the Muzoom. Um, less features than the Muzoom because there's not as many flash modes. Uh, self timer, you hold the the button down and press press the press the shutter button and it'll living at main road sorry and it'll do the self timer uh, only problem with this camera I found is there's no mid roll mid roll rewind I've looked it up and there's no like special feature to do that so there <laughs> um, yeah I, I it, my other the other point of this is if I can get this open breaking my fingernails. This takes a CR123 or or two AAA batteries, which you're more likely to find in drugstores, pharmacies, um, you know, second hand stores, you know, a lot of charity shops carry uh AAAs. So if you were in a charity shop and you find one of these, chances are you can test it straight away. Or thrift store, whatever you want to call it. Um yeah this is I mean if you if you're looking for an Olympus Mew and you can't afford one get one of these, it's basically the same lens, I think it's actually the same lens, I think they just put the same lens in the same, in different bodies, um, yeah, I, I like this camera as well, this is, this one's really nice, I mean I like all the, the, the Olympus clamshell cameras, I think they're brilliant, uh, too many, too many cameras have the, uh, I'll get my Samsung Vega, too many cameras have this, these things here, flimsy little plastic covers that will snap off or break or you know go, get damaged if they're dropped. These clamshell openings are they're bloody brilliant because they're, they're manual. You control when when the cameras are, when the camera lens is is open. Only problem is there's a higher chance of like if you take this to the beach and there's a big gust of wind and you quickly close the camera, there's more chance of you getting sand stuck in the in the um, between the clamshell and the and the glass there yeah I like this camera take some good pictures uh, I've taken quite a few pictures on this yeah um, now to the one I purchased most recently and the one that has batteries in it uh, the Mu Zoom uh, this again clamshell this one has a zoom lens big chunky zoom lens uh, I really like this because I live in England where it's raining all the time, sun hasn't been invented yet, clouds are all over the place, um, you know, basic cliches, and it's it's got weather sealing all around here, all here, the weather sealing is also the light sealing, there's weather sealing here, weather sealing underneath this flash. Another thing I forgot to mention, I really like the Olympus uh, cameras because the flash is quite offset from the lens. On the original Mew it's not, but on the later Mews it's all it's all up on here. So it's quite it's quite offset so you don't get as much red eye. Um little trick with this, if you if you wanna if you if you don't wanna close the clamshell and you wanna quickly put the quickly turn the camera off, just turns it off, you just hold the flash in. And it will turn it off, so you just it turn it off, so you don't have to close the close the clamshell slightly and then wait for it to close. You can just go close, close. Uh, this has got a self timer and a remote function. This has got like how many flash modes? One, two, three, four, five flash modes. Look in the manual for them. I think it goes auto, auto red eye reduction, off, fill in. And then night mode, which uses a really slow shutter speed to capture the background and then uses a weak flash to light the subject up. Um, the only problem with these ones is, because of the weather sealing, is rubber instead of foam, rubber starts to crack and degrade after a bit. 
compared like compared to foam, where foam can last longer than rubber, uh, rubber's almost guaranteed. I had a casino. I have a Casina CT1A where the the foam is fine on it. It's been in the cupboard for 40 years and the foam's fine. Whereas a lot of people you can see on Reddit and YouTube, they'll be like, "Why have I got rings? You know, why have I got white rings on my images?" It's because these seals here on the lens have gone. So if you buy one of these, I'd say with the XA, the XA series and the Olympus AF10 series and the AF1, it's more safe to put a couple rolls through as a test. Whereas the Olympus Muse, um, you need to put one roll through them and then test it and then get it developed because there is a very high likelihood that the seals have gone. I only bought this, uh, bought this for 80 quid, which is more than I usually spend on a point and shoot, but I've been looking for one of these for ages because I live in England and I wanted a camera for the winter, uh, but I made sure to check all the seals. So there's, there's a good chance if these seals are fine in the back here, the seals around the lenses are fine. Hopefully. Uh, it's usually good to go off. So which one, which one would I pick? Um, if I want it, if I was gonna, if I was gonna do professional photography, if I was doing like a companion camera to a professional camera, the XA2 because you can choose your own ISO. Here, you can go from 25 to 800 ISO, so you can push film on this or pull film on this, underexpose or overexpose. So you can use ex expired film in this and non-DX coded film. Um, whereas if you use non-DX coded film in the AF10 and the, and the museum, they'll, they'll set themselves to 150 ISO. Um, yeah, if you, if you, if you want to shoot slide film, use a Muzoom or an AF10. If you want to shoot anything else, use an XA2, because the meters on these, these can be kind of finicky now. Um, tactile experience-wise, this is the best one, because you can, because obviously... You, you 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 wind it and click it and then wind it and click it and then you press the button and wind it back and it's all all a bit of fun. I'm very much for the tactile experience. It's half the reason I use film cameras. Um, yeah. Tell us what you think. What do you? What's your out of all of them? Out of all the clamshell fellas, what's your favourite? I um I really like the XA2. I like the I like the Muzoom. I like them all. I like them all. But um, some are better than others when it comes to certain things. So, thanks for watching. Bye.